Our next guest has been working tirelessly to raise awareness about Minnesota's indigenous foods and to make them accessible to everyone. He created a company, The Sous Chef, and he's won a James Beard Award for his efforts. Tomorrow, there's a full day event where you can learn all about it here at the fairgrounds. We are happy to have Chef Sean Sherman here this morning. Good to have you here, Sean. Thanks for having me. It's awesome to have you, and you're cooking with all stuff that is uh, native to Minnesota. First of all, to come up with this idea, where did this kind of come from to have the book and really just kind of be behind this movement? Well, I grew up on Pine Ridge Reservation, so I'm enrolled with the Ogallala Lakota Sioux Tribe. And as a chef in the city, I just had the realization that there were no native restaurants anywhere. So you could find food from all over the world, but nothing that represented the land that we were standing on. So it shot me on a path to understand Native American foods and to do something about it. Did you learn a couple of things as well? I'm looking through here and you're telling me this, this, and I said, I didn't know that was uh, indigenous to Minnesota. Did you Have you learned a bit in this? process? Oh yeah, we're constantly learning because we travel all over the U.S., Canada, Alaska. We look at all the indigenous foods of North America and the immense amount of diversity and just really have a lot of fun with all the beautiful flavors that are out there. Well, let's tell everyone what you're making first of all because this smells amazing. What are you cooking up? Well, we've got true Minnesota wild rice. So if you've never had real wild rice, you have to search it and find it. So this is hand harvested by native uh, communities up north. And we've got some crab apple, some sweet potatoes, some squash, and some wild ramps. And we're making a quick fried wild rice out of this. Now tell me again, I did not know what a wild ramp was. What is that? A uh, wild ramp is a wild leek and it grows all over the forests as soon as spring hits in the, the very beginning. And you all knew that, right? You're lying. Half of you are lying. I know it. What are we doing here to it now? You put some, is that syrup that you put in? Just a tiny bit of pure maple syrup and I'm just making a quick fried wild rice and we're just going to top it off with a few things. Tell me while you're do if you can cook and talk at the same time, which clearly you can, uh, the indigenous food lab that's going on here tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about it. We're going to have at Dan Patch Park tomorrow all day native programming. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of native guest chefs. Um, we're going to have uh, Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan. We're going to have uh, musician Keith Sicola. Um, and we're going to have some native uh, drummers and uh, singers around, around with us. And we're just going to have a really fun day with native foods all day long. Tomorrow. A lot of good foods. Can you give me an idea, other than wild rice, what are some of the dishes? that'll be being cooked up tomorrow. Oh, there's so many things going on. People are making some fresh Red Lake walleye cakes. Um, there's some fresh pemmican, which is uh, dried bison with berries. Um, and there's a whole bunch of fun stuff. There's gonna be a lot of surprises. That sounds delicious. Are we gonna, and so this is finished now. I mean, start to finish, it only took you a couple minutes. Well, luckily I started ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> He's smart when it comes to planning on television. Do I get to try a little bit? Yeah, I'm just gonna All right. plating this. You're garnishing. What is, what's that that you just put on there? This is puffed wild rice. So if you just toast wild rice without any oil, it'll puff up almost like a popcorn. Here, try just a tiny taste. Okay. Oh, it's crunchy. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. It's very good. What's your favorite thing to make of the indigenous food that you make? Well, we cook so seasonally and regionally, we just really enjoy trying everything out. So even uh, going into Manhattan and doing the indigenous foods of Manhattan, right? Yeah. Which isn't pizza by the village, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to try this out. You're finishing plating that up. Uh, and Belinda and Bobby, you're here somewhere, right? We're going to talk about I sure am. what's coming up. You oh my gosh, sure that looks really good. 